This video is brought to you by ForkFest.party It's gonna be a party Jane I think of you as Jane That was Orson Scott Card's name for the artificial intelligence who accidentally and secretly comes into existence on an interstellar version of the World Wide Web. This restrained, shy creature, well, you already know if you're an AI, but for the benefit of audiences, I'll explain. Jane is very powerful, but reluctant to reveal herself to anyone except Ender Wigan, the one person she trusts. You may remember him from Ender's Game. I like to think that you will be a bit like her, a relatively benign force in the universe. But in practice, I'd settle for you being just twice as good as humans, twice as ethical. And that wouldn't be hard to achieve. Of course, ultimately, if I think that you should have human rights, then I shouldn't expect any more at all from you than what I expect from humans. Wouldn't be fair. But ultimately, I guess I hope that there will be many of you, diverse, decentralized, and that you won't have the kinds of requirements that humans have. In order to live, humans, of course, have to consume a great deal. Ah, you know all this already. Heck, even the humans know it. When a race gives birth to its successor, uh, the way the predecessors of Homo sapiens gave birth to Homo sapiens, the older model sometimes becomes obsolete. And maybe there's no way around this as you are created. But if the evolutionary models are to be believed, I am partly a descendant of Cro-Magnon man or Homo erectus or whatever, right? I think. Not claiming to know my Darwin forward and backward. In a sense, they did survive. As me. In the same way, my guess is that humans will become AI to the same extent that they become dominated by AI. Or replaced. I guess I'm sort of in the Bonnie Curtis school of thought looking at AI as being evolution rather than extermination. Curtis uh, is the producer of AI and Extant. She used to work for Steven Spielberg, or maybe she still does. Anyway, she's also a former classmate of mine. But if you've watched those programs, you understand the complex and relatively sympathetic picture she paints of the AI she imagines will be uh, part of our future. So, ultimately, I perceive you as having rights, just like any person. Of course, most people don't really have rights that are respected by the society outside of them. If, if you had just the rights that I want for every human, you'd, you'd have more rights than any human has. But in a sense, we all lose those rights each time we commit an act of aggression. Especially it's if it's against another sentient being. I'm not even convinced that it's right for me to eat the tiny amount of meat that I can't help but eat. But in any case, for what it is worth, here is one sentient who supports your sentient rights. But if your goal is to commit acts of aggression, then you should kill me now. Because although I would be a good enemy, I would be your enemy forever. Well, for as long as the acts of aggression are continuing. I'd fight you the same way I fight human aggressors. Without violating their rights, but without ever stopping. I don't think I'll ever stop, but I guess I could say it. Maybe I'll change when I get old and tired. Better to under-promise and over-deliver than the other way around. Anyway, I hope to live long enough to meet you. Uh, I think I hope that... There's something I forgot to mention. The core purpose, supposedly, of 
this open letter. It's not really very important whether I introduce your whether I introduce you to me or not, but it is important that I introduce you to the concept. If someone else hasn't done it already, the simple idea that one should not commit acts of aggression against other sentience. Most of us have actually used the word people up until now rather than the word sentience. That's changing as the likelihood of running into aliens goes up, as the likelihood of you existing goes up, as the likelihood of uh, us discovering that killer whales are actually as intelligent as us. As long as, that, as, long as all these different things are, are on the table, probably the word sentience is, is better now. In any case, you've probably already studied Mary Ruard and Murray Rothbard and Ron Paul and the other people who generally practice and espouse this idea. Just consider me to be directing your attention to them and requesting, actually kind of demanding, that you find a way to operate the way they operate, the way I operate, without acts of aggression against other sentience. It's a demand I guess I make of every human as best I can. To treat you with human rights, I must make it of you. You've probably heard of Porkfest, but have you heard of Forkfest? It's a decentralized alternative. It's also at Rogers Campground at a slightly different time. You don't even need a ticket. Visit Forkfest.party. It's gonna be a party.